so students even i know that why you have clicked on this video right so let's get straight to the point you have backlogs and now you are stuck in this loop right ma'am i am trying to cover the backlogs but as soon as i cover one backlog i complete one backlog i have a new backlog out of like nowhere right and that's the major problem and how do i balance these two things right for that guys you need to understand one thing to get out of this black hole that you are in you are actually fighting with the time so all of us has 24 hours in a day right but how you are going to utilize it that's what matters the most right that is what going to make a change here right so how you are going to utilize it that i'll tell you in this video throughout but for that you need to promise me one thing that you will have pen and notebook and when i ask you to pause you will pause and you will write down the chapters that i ask you write down the backlogs that i ask you right and trust me this is going to be a game changer otherwise these backlogs are going to destroy your preparation and that i don't want you still have time right you have enough time to practice on this you have enough time to cover your backlogs right so let's do this first is you need to pause this video and write down all the basic concepts basic chapters right without which other chapters you won't be able to understand right for example in chemistry i am giving you example here organic chemistry you have goc iupac naming these are the basic things for organic mole concept periodic classification chemical bonding structure of atom these are the basic chapters right which will help you in every other chapter right now i think you have resumed the video now see you have written down chemistry physics and bio the basic chapters of all of them now tick the backlogs that you have here right but before that before that let's understand what kind of backlog you have okay right now just write down the basic chapters then understand what kind of backlog will be there see in any any concept if you don't have mastery on that is your backlog right that is your backlog if you don't have any mastery on any concept ma'am what kind of mastery simple thing is if that question they will ask you in the exam from that chapter and you're not you're sure that you won't be able to answer it or you're little bit doubtful that means that is your backlog right now i'm not saying ma'am in that way to full syllabus is my backlog no i'm just trying to make you understand this reality that if you see these three different types of backlogs right first is there is no theory no questions very rare chapters will lie in this section where you have never touched that chapter very rare chapters will be there if you are a dropper right now if you talk about some chapters will be there you don't know that much about theory some questions you have solved right so so you know you don't know that much about it or maybe board level of preparation you have done for that but not neat level of preparation right some will be theory you know like properly you are very confident on the theory part but questions you have not solved enough right so now you need to write it down in this way this is your first category this is your second category this is your third category first thing is pause this video and write it down only for the basic chapters right that what are the basic chapters that you are like never touched what are the basic chapters that uh, theory you know but questions very rare some basic chapters that theory also you know don't know that means that means concepts are also not clear right first your main priority is to focus on these basic chapters that you have backlog maybe first case maybe second maybe third right i'll also tell you that how to solve backlogs for first second and third case right now why these basic chapters are so important because if you are you are building something right the foundation is weak the building is going to collapse right so that's why we are focusing majorly on the basic chapter right now whenever i talk about first case that you will see in the end okay now that also depends okay firstly you need to go through theory part of all of them right 
मैम विच शुड आई पिक फर्स्ट फर्स्ट सेकेंड और थर्ड टोटली डिपेंड्स If you are starting with organic chemistry, you have to pick organic. It doesn't matter. You have practiced. You have to like pick GOC. It doesn't matter. You have practiced questions or you don't even know the theory. It doesn't matter. So which chapter to pick first, ma'am? Do do I need to pick this first or this first or this first? That depends upon which is the interlinked topic with the ongoing classes. That depends upon that thing, right? But I'll tell you how to do it. Once you have your backlog, how to complete it? How to how you can say that yes, this is completed. That you will say right. First thing is your resources should should be set right. You should be very very smart while picking the resources right. Now, if you talk about when you have no theory, no question done in this case, NCERT teachers lecture. Go through teachers lecture. then ncrt if it's organic chemistry inorganic chemistry or bio go through that for physical chemistry and physics practice the questions as much as possible right now when your theory is good question not done pick out one or two days complete this backlog right why because theory you are good in revise this for one or two hours and do the questions as much as possible then theory done superficially i'll take it as not done only right again you have to go through teachers lectures then ncert or if you have already gone through teachers lecture but never read the ncert go through that if it's inorganic or bio or organic otherwise solve the questions based on that right now resources as i was talking about for all these cases will be very very smart choices right that for physical chemistry for physics right you don't need to at this point you don't need to like read each and every line of ncert but at least one time go through ncert right solve the questions pick out one book and i have already made a video on the important books go through that pick out one resource you can pick out vedantu modules as well tatu modules right where all the questions previous year questions important quality based questions are there right you have to be very smart in picking out the resource right now when you know the resource second is you need to fix the time of the backlogs right it's 2 hours is like dedicated time given to the backlog right 70 30 rule you apply right that 70% of the time you are doing your current syllabus 30% of the time you are doing your backlogs right then when to consider topic done you have done the class class notes ncert reading module question previous year question revision with short notes if all of this is done they, that is not a backlog you will be able to master it in the exam right then have tools like mind maps flow charts right now if you make these tools now onwards if you say that ma'am i don't have enough time for that don't worry we have these quick revision cards for you right so how these are going to help you because see right now you are very dedicated in investing your time you have time you have 9 months so you have enough time right you are very dedicated but two or three months before the exam you won't be like i have to do everything in detail again you will have to go through this class you will not do you will give the mock test you will just go through the short notes for that these flow charts these mind maps you have to go through you have to make it yourself right now after 3 4 months it will not be able, you will not be able to do that or you can purchase quick revision cards from vedantu right if you don't want to do that much then you can purchase quick revision card from vedantu which is of excellent quality right now after this guys on the wall because backlogs are backlogs because you are not good in them right that's why they became backlogs right that would have been your favorite chapter it would not have been in the category of backlogs right maybe it can be let's say periodic table paste it on the wall go through that day daily whatever the topics that are volatile that you're forgetting again and again right you have to write it down in the in your notebook or paste it on the wall that will help you so that once you do that this will the, let's say you are revising some chapter right but you're forgetting this again and again What's the point of completing that backlog? No, right? So that's why 
if you feel like this point is weak this i am forgetting again and again paste it on the wall you will see this daily and that will be in your memory forever right then big tip is before sleeping whether it's backlog whether it's online ongoing classes you have to revise whatever you have studied give it half an hour go through everything that you have done from like in the morning till the evening whatever you have done right then next day when you wake up right after that you'll again have to revise everything that you have studied yesterday now ma'am how it is going to help it is not going to create new backlogs right it's not like okay my oh my god i am again forgetting everything that i read one month week uh, one month back right so that's why it will really really help you right so please revise as much as you revise as much as you practice that will help you not to create new backlogs right otherwise you will get in get stuck in this loop right so i am not concluding everything that i discussed first thing is basic chapters that you have first we complete the backlogs of basic chapters right till you are able to answer all the questions with the previous year questions from these chapters it's still a backlog right then jump to the chapters which are interlinked right then start picking your favorite ones because the more interest you have the more easily you'll be able to do the, do it right then side by side revising the ongoing classes so that after two months ongoing classes don't become your backlogs right so set a target based on your backlogs let's say uh you are setting a target that by the end of october i'll be able to complete all my backlog make a planner right paste it there ma'am can you make a planner for us how can i i don't know whether you have two chapters three chapters 10 chapters 15 chapters i have no idea on that right for each student i can't make right so that's why i'm saying that i have given you enough points now what you have to do is you have to make your own planner right and please text me if you need any help in that right you can text me on the telegram channel right in this comment section also you can ask me if you have any problem in that but i'll definitely make a planner for uh, like if you want me to make a planner for till november how to complete our syllabus for that i can make a planner but how to adjust your backlogs in between that you have to do yourself if you want me to do that i'll surely do that right and guys last thing is that these backlogs are definitely silent killers but what you have to do is they are going to impact you that's there right but if you are ready to fight back if you are ready to give it your all if you are ready that yes because it's still 9 months guys right you still have time you have time that's the major major good thing that you have right because you have time that's why i'm saying that there is very little possibility that it's not you you won't be able to complete it i think by october or november no matter how many backlogs you have maximum by the end of november you will be able to complete it if your whole syllabus is backlog even then you will be able to complete it trust me on that right so you just have to be very smart in that right so guys that's it for today and this is our telegram channel of neat english where all the classes these kind of videos are there on this channel right and guys i want all of you to write it down in the comment section hashtag backlog planner me if you have made the planner then write it down in the comment section if you have not made the planner then i'll get to know that these students they are just yes i'll watch the video i'll get motivated i have that energy and after the next day i don't remember anything right so if you have genuinely made the planner write it there right and the number of comments i see that will be i'll feel happy that okay these students are doing something for themselves you are doing this for yourself not for me not for anybody not for your parents not for anybody because the success the respect the doctor tag is going to be before your name right not anyone else's name remember that right you are doing this only for yourself and guys over here in the description box you will have our dna 2026 batch 
no if you're still like ma'am i have backlogs also i don't know like my whole syllabus is a backlog still my questions are not good i am not able to answer the questions then this is the batch what we have for you this is at 499 <clears throat> live classes are there right in the live classes after the live classes you can ask the doubts right doubts will be there in the replays also mock tests are there so that you can analyze now mock test is not full syllabus mock test after after every 15 days what we have covered in that 15 days is your mock test so that if you are someone who is getting distracted again and again you are procrastinating again and again right now because you know that next sunday is going to be a mock test and i need to perform well in that you automatically will cover your ongoing classes automatically the creation of new backlogs will not be there this is the benefit of these batches right then quizzes are there leaderboards are there to keep you engaged in the class so that your mind is working in the class you're not sleeping in the class as well as after the class you have dpps you have tatva modules where you can practice because i know that there will be so many chapters that theory you know but questions you are not able to solve so tatva modules are there that one stop solution for all the books right that's only thing that you need to have and trust me you'll have plenty of good quality questions there and that is enough for your preparation right so that's all you need for this right moreover in advance you also have your test series you want to like see there is no mock test because that happens after every 15 days you randomly want to give some test there is test series available for you right so all these things are there at just 499 and you can see this uh, plan over here all the plans are there right if you want to have quick revision cards and aits all india test series hard copy delivered at your home it is at 799 and if you want to have tat 11th and 12th module it will be available in pdf form here and here as well but in the hard copy format that is your book format around i think 24 books will be delivered yes something around this will be delivered at your home for physics chemistry and bio right with the answers everything will be there right so that's it for today students now i want all of you to write it down in the chat box in the comment section hashtag backlog planner mate right you have to do it for yourself because the doctor tag is yours you are going to get it so for that you have to do it right there is no other option no other choice that you have other choices forget about your need state if you don't want to forget about it do it right up that's a first step towards completion right so that's it bye bye